Hello friends, in this video let's talk about so one of the new feature in SQL Server 2022. Select window function. See there are many window functions are there in the SQL Server previous versions but we don't specify window keyword in any of the functions. Okay, we, we do write some average functions in the partitioned or ordered by manner, but we don't specify a window function, window keyword I mean. But in this, we are going to specify a window keyword as well in the select queries. In my aspect, this window function increases the readability of the code increases the reusability we will be using this window class in a partitioned and ordered manner in a partitioned and ordered row set so let me tell you this feature doesn't work in the previous versions of SQL Server. So minimum database compatibility is 16.0. Here I am going to use AdventureWorks database to explain this function. So let me uh, show you the Microsoft link where it covered a couple of scenarios. I'll keep this link in the description section. So let's try to follow if you require little more information. So at the end, this window function will be using along with partition by class and order by class. At least order by is mandatory, partition is up to you. So partition is the one that divides the query results into a, a batches or partitions. So order by again, it orders the data in a specific partition. So now, so let me show you, okay, so how to use this function in the AdventureWorks database. So if you are planning to use AdventureWorks database and if you do not have in your machine, I covered how to download and restore AdventureWorks database in the previous video. Let's try to check that as well. So now if you see, this is a very general uh, query. Okay, if you see here, I'm trying to uh, put a row number over partition by postal code order by sales ytd and i'm giving a row number for this and p dot last name s dot sales ytd and a dot postal code and i'm using couple of tables to join this sales person is a table and person is a table and uh, i'm again i'm i'm joining with the business entity id business entity id here and person dot address and address id with business entity id so where territory id is not null and sales ytd not equal to zero Okay, here there is no window function. There is no specific window keyword here. Okay, so it's a very general query. Okay, so without using select window function. If I run this, so I'll be uh, getting the 14 records. And if you see, based on the postal code, okay, so it has been uh, generated a, a, a rows actually. If you see, for this postal code, if you see, I highlighted, I got the uh, number of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, row number for each and every record uh, in the, within the postal code partition. Similarly, in a different partition, I got a row number of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, now let me try to pick it up uh, with window function. So how to write the same query, so with window function. Now, so let, let me use the same one, okay. Uh, let me put result won't change, okay. Let me copy the same. So I'll slightly change the same code uh, to keep this as a, to keep to make use of window function okay so i'll be using window okay sales so did not equal to window so i need to uh, specify a name okay so the name of the window function is win or win one win two something like that yes okay so i'm going to put this as a uh, this one okay so slight change only i'm not doing much actually here okay so that's it so here since i I'm already keeping this code. Now, whatever the piece of code I'm planning to um, uh, use here, I need to replace this with a win, whatever the name I gave here, okay? So I'm giving the name is, instead of this all, okay, I'm keeping as win. So if you really see this, 
so in the original select query this, this all not there now okay so let me quickly run this you see the data is same let me run both the queries okay so even the, the row number or whatever the number it generated for if you see uh, Mitchell the row number is one for this even the same result there is no change in the result set as well if you really understand here the change happens only instead of keeping this entire partition and order by query in the select part I moved to the at the end so and I am keeping the alias name for this all okay so I am replacing this alias name wherever I have the partition query so this is how I need to use it then I mentioned previously so how how to say it is increasing the readability of the code or how, how to say it increases the uh, reusability okay maybe here so it's a very basic query which I have this piece of code in a single place so I don't see much uh, difference here okay maybe there is not much reusability so when I go to a second scenario where I need to call the same order by class or same uh, partition class in multiple times then I might be feeling reusability let us say if I want to use the same piece of code for multiple columns in the select part so that time rather than writing this much of code I can simply call it as a win there so let me go there here so I'm going to tell you that um, single window in a multiple over classes if you see here now so what I'm trying to tell you is here is select sales order ID product ID order quantity and here I'm using only direct table a uh, sales dot sales order detail in the adventure works 2022 okay here so I specified win as so partition by sales order ID so I'm I'm splitting the data I'm partitioning the data based on sales order ID now so if you if you really see this uh, if I want to write a normal manner okay let me run this query okay so this is the data so if I want to prepare the same query in the normal manner without windows function or in the SQL server 2019 then I, I have to put this manner okay so wherever it is I need to put here now I don't need this okay so now let me run this this is how see now now let me repeat my old statement it increases the readability and reusability of the code so rather than specifying the same piece of code I specified in one place and I am using this variable or a window alias in multiple places here here okay so it increases the reusability and readability as well so if you see so this this looks like a bit a bit um, a big query maybe yeah even we are writing on the top of a single table might be even so it, it is showing this much okay but if when you are really dealing with the real time you might need to join with multiple tables so that time the query looks a little more more uh, complex or more big actually so that's how you can increase the readability and reusability of the code by using select window functions similarly you can do um, a common uh, specification in a window class so when I say common specification so let, let me tell you what is a common specification okay so here if you see this see I am going to win I declared win as a ordered by sales order ID and product ID okay for uh, ordered quantity for this total I want this is okay but for order or for average I need to partition the data based on sales order ID as well so if you really see this this windows function defined with only order class but I want to add partition class as well that time so rather than specifying like this okay so otherwise like okay, the same query you should be writing this way okay let me tell you this okay let me quickly tell you this instead of win I'll put this instead of win okay ideally let me remove this column okay so if you really see the order the order of the query I'll put here like this okay so this is how I don't, I don't need here okay so this is now how you wrote previous query in the previous version you should be writing here so now so to increase the readability or to make use of the windows function okay uh, and to keep this is a common windows function if you want to use uh, this straight away or along with partition function also you can use it okay so now if I run this the result here it is having six records with this much even if I run this same I'll get it so if you, if you really understand here 
So I'm going to use, I'm, I'm going to say common specification in a Windows class. So I'm specifying commonly, if, if there is a piece which you are planning to use commonly in between these two, then you can specify like this and whatever is required extra, then you can amend that to the, uh, the Windows class here. So this is how you can uh, write the select Windows function in this, in this manner as well. There is one more is forward and backward window references. Okay, so let me show you how to see it is forward and backward. So now similarly, like first of all, I, I know this. Okay, so commonly I can whatever the, the common piece of code I want to use it. I'll put it in a Windows function and I can amend whatever is required to me. Okay, similarly, it is happened if you really see this now. Okay, so in, in the Win2, if you really see it, it is order by class. Okay, for Win3, along with order by class, I have a partition class as well. Okay, so Win2 and Win3 is fine then. Then I'm going, if you really see it, so Win1, I'm going to replace with Win3. Okay, so I'm not specifying any piece of code for Win1, but I'm planning to use Win3, whatever code is specified in Win3, I want to use it. Okay, it is nothing but a backward and forward um, uh, window references. Now here, if you see Win2 and Win1, I am using here, okay, but I am not using Win3 because Win3, it is assigned to the Win1, okay. Let me run this query. So this is how it is going to work, okay. The same Windows function, you can assign it to some other Windows function without amending any piece of code. So that's what, that's what uh, we call it as a uh, select window function in a SQL Server 2022. That's all about it. If you have any questions in any version of SQL Server, please do let me know in the comment section. I'll try to answer as soon as possible. That's it. Thank you for watching.